right. Welcome, welcome to my live. Hello, Carrie. To my live event. Um, this is a little chit chat on some crafts you can do or some ideas um during this covid crisis you <laughs> thank you <laughs> thanks jules <laughs> it's it's bent there top of the morning to you all right i'm goofy okay so I couldn't decide honestly between the hat or my my horns, so I might switch out because this is is irking me because I'm looking down a little bit to look at you guys. So I may switch to the horns. I'm feeling the horns a little more, anyways. <laughs> we ah oh, okay a mess hurrah. How's this? Let's switch over to the horns. So anyway, so we were going to talk about some crafty crafts here on a Friday night during the COVID crisis. So, watch the hair. Ah. Ah. Not even going to tie it. Forget it. All right. How about some horns? I can see you guys better. That was in my way. So what I have brought to you is uh, a list of things, some witchy, most are, that you can do to um, keep yourself busy and feel magical and enjoy. <laughs> so um, you could go out in nature and grab some sticks and with the sticks you can make a couple different things you can make a big old walking stick sand it down carve it down you can make a wand now my wand was made by someone else but it's still a, a beautiful stick that's been sanded and lacquered and it's just phenomenal and gorgeous and it's plain old simple but you can do anything with it you can um with a wonderful glue gun or whatnot you can um take so sorry I like zoned out like in the middle of conversation uh, <laughs> you can glue jewel uh, stones or feathers or anything that comes to you that makes you feel witchy and magical you can put on there or just like it plain I like this one plain it's got like its own like handle it looks like and then it's got just enough little waviness I don't know that's mine that's the one I chose I love it called out to me so the next thing um, so that you can do a wand you can do walking stick you could do besom with some sticks and branches so here's a little besom now a lot of these things that I'm going to show you um, some I made some I bought um, a lot, a lot I bought. I gotta be honest, a lot I bought. But I'll tell you which ones I made so that I can give credit to those that I, um, were purchased. So I purchased this besom online many, uh, a while ago, back when I got into my witchy self. <laughs> so anyways, this is uh, a purchase online, but it was made by a small town crafter. Um, so it's just, uh, the branch, branch pieces and it's wrapped up here and then a little bit in between to separate and flatten out the branches and then in front and then so there's a little rope to hang it on stuff if you want and then there's a little thing there a little cauldron pen you know pendant so um i know some people are selling pendants and things like that around so you can do whatever hi richard you can do, you know, whatever you want to make your besom look good for you. The next thing you can do is like a smudge fan. Now this I made um, with a friend. Um, but this is a smudge fan. It's a very big smudge fan. But uh, for your... Hold on. Let me grab the smudge. 
So if you got your little smudge stick and you're in a bigger environment, a small apartment or, or whatnot, and you don't want to use like a single leaf or a tiny smudge or whatever, but if you're in a ceremony and you actually can be around people, eventually you may want a smudge fan. And smudge fan is used to um, waft your lovely smudgy cloud to cleanse your area and your people that are coming into your circle or just your circle um, for you. But uh, smudge fan. So anyways, you can take uh, feathers, leaves, uh, anything that, that suits you. And what we did was we took a stick and then we took the feathers and we glued them to the stick. And some, this is uh, like leather here, leather band, and this is felt. You could just, whatever comes to your own mind. And then I got some seashells. So a little air and water and whatnot. And, uh, <laughs> and glue, super glue again. Glue gun can get you really far ways in this land. So there's a smudge fan. Uh, let's see. So next you got uh, hobbies. So you can have the clay hobby. And so <laughs> I'm going to show you like a ton of stuff that I have here to do. But uh, it's like I'm like a jack of all trades, Jane of all trades, but master at none <laughs> at all. <laughs> but I love doing stuff and to keep me occupied. So I'm just going to show you as much as I possibly can. Hopefully you'll spark some sort of inspiration inside yourself. And then you can um, find something to do in this terrible time. And then when we come out of this, um, you'll have all sorts of stuff to present in a circle or in a group of people when we get to hang out with people again. <laughs> So, can't tell I like to be around people at all. I love you all. I miss you all. So, moving on. So, something else could be clay. So, clay is really fun to play with. Um, so, something I made is, I can never think of ideas with clay, but I love playing with it. So, sometimes I just take it out and I'll mold it into like, well, a lot of times a whole lot of nothing, but I try to come up with ideas and you mold it in and then, uh, and then I smash it back into a ball, put it in the bag. <laughs> Cause like, I'm like, this looks terrible. I put it away, but it made me feel good because I was interacting, um, with something crafty and whatnot. So one thing that I did make that came out really successful and I can't really duplicate it, but is I made a goddess statue. So she's wearing a little cape and... <laughs> And whatnot got a little crown but there's my goddess statue I tried to I tried to duplicate that but I cannot um but so clay can come into a big lump of white or you can get it in multiple colors so I don't know how many people know about clay everybody probably knows about clay but I'm gonna show you so you can get like these awesome little squares of clay for like buck something and they're really cheap and easy and then if you get really like crazy and excited you can get like these um tools a little knife um and some bake glue so like you stick pieces together and all sorts of things to keep you occupied and make something awesome i made an apple once <laughs> <laughs> so I have an apple. Uh, these are the little successes that I've had. So that is clay. All right. So you can make things. I bought these off of Jules once, and I don't know if I should give credit to Jules if she made them or if she uh, got them for the shop to sell and they came from someone else. But I absolutely love them. But they, were, I believe, were made um, from clay. Or some sort of something but they're beautiful earrings so earrings jewelry is something you can make you can um, make them from clay or from um, other um, mediums and then so example is this is a mushroom earring with the ohm symbol on it if I could get it to sit still <sighs> so there's that so there's jewelry 
you could do you could make a statue um I, like i said i'm terrible at ideas all right yay okay jules made them so that makes me feel even better because i wear these all the time i try to find reasons to wear white black or red so i can wear my mushroom earrings love them love them i have another pair um they're in the bathroom i took them off one day they're they're still there they're perfectly awesome but they're like tiger eye and they're awesome oh glass beads but they could be made with clay for sure awesome awesome so there's jules made these beautiful earrings yay jules thanks jules i love them and okay so that's clay let's see so sticks we got a wand walking stick besom smudge fan you can make a smudge you can make a smudge if you have the herbs or um flowers or the things if you know how to do that but then you can make a smudge um i don't personally know how but i that's an idea you can personally make or you can make <laughs> you can make jewelry as i said there's necklaces i don't um this is the perfect time to take up a hobby um if you're able to sorry about the um like i keep saying um i'm sorry about that but uh if you could if you could get into places like the hobby lobby um, or Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or whatever other kind of crafting store. Uh, there's the um again. I'm going to try to break it. That's my goal by the end of this is to not say um as much. But if you can get into these stores safely and grab some crafts or a book um, and learn a craft, this is the best time and who knows what will come out of it. But uh, think ahead for things like when we're able to start communicating with the world again, what kind of events are going to be coming up? So um, let's say we're fortunate enough to have the world magically poof this thing away and June comes up. Well, what do we have coming up in June? Well, the solstice, of course. So uh, you could be getting together with a bunch of magical people doing, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a magical circle. So what, what do you need? What do you need? Oh, I need, I might need my wand. I might need, I might need a smudge fan. Um, so <laughs> Walmart's still open. Just wear gloves and a mask. Absolutely. I believe all those stores are doing a buy online and then you pick it. Oh, you guys are phenomenal. Yeah. Totally. If you get away with buying it online or going in safely, grab it. Grab some crafts and get on crafting. So what else do I have here? Oh, another fun craft. So there's a couple different ways you could go about this one. So candles. If you've never made candles, it's something neat to do. And there's a couple people I know that are in our group that have made candles. I, I have. I'm terrible at it, but I would make some more. Uh, but here's... Here's some candles. I made a chime, a set of chime candles. I made out of beeswax. I wanted to go all natural. So beeswax is tricky. I think you have to sit at a certain temperature for it to burn properly. That's what I think I've learned because I've tried to burn my beeswax candles and while they've come out correctly, um, they don't burn that well. So they don't, I don't know. So anyways, I have candles. They smell phenomenal. They smell like delicious delicious honey and beeswax and it's just delicious um coconut oil maybe did i not do that should i have put coconut oil inside my beeswax yes exactly richard is one and actually he was my inspiration richard <laughs> thanks for saying hello in this because you were my inspiration to make the candles um we were doing circles um a part of the other group I, i'm in and um he handmade our uh i did dig it out it's in a tote for the anyways for the circles and he handmade the four corner candles for our circle which sounds funny corners in a circle but that's a talk from another day but uh made the candles and i was like that's awesome and he started to tell me you know how easy it was to do and i said i've got to do this so you can make it from beeswax there's soy um, and you can buy, you can buy these things online. Um, uh, the beeswax is more expensive, but you can get them in the small pellets online. And you can also get them from your local beehive people, your, your apiaries. Um, so, um, the, um, 
you can repurpose other candles. Okay, so there's something fun that I did to kind of get started. Once you get some of the materials, which is really, um, there's the little piece that's at the bottom of the votive, and then uh, just your wick. Um, so it depends on what kind of candle you're making. You get the tea lit, you could get the little tin. I have all of this stuff. It's ridiculous. But, um, but if you have it, you can, you know, if you get to the bottom of a glass candle and you can't burn that because your wick burned out. So you're just sitting there with like about this much wax and you're like, but this candle is awesome. I want more of this candle. Well, good news there. You can do that. You just take it and you heat up the glass in like a boiling pot of water and then you can pour that wax back into your melter or directly into your your little doohickey thing. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to go on a speech about wax. But anyways, there's a really easy way you can repurpose. So repurpose your candle, make a new candle. That's a craft you can do. I got on a tangent about candles, I think, but candles are fun. They're really fun. If you uh, study and get a chance to do it, totally do it. All right, so something else. You can, oh, get into calligraphy. I have gotten into calligraphy forever ago, and that's a lot of fun too. So if you keep a book of shadows, you can fancy write your way into, um, into your book. So we have... I can't open anything. Okay, so with calligraphy, you can have your straight pen and or, which, oh, okay. I'm like, I know I have a piece here. So you can have your straight pen or you can have your, for your really fancy writing, you can have the oblique pen. Is it oblique? Anyways, and you just stick the nib in there. I'm not going to put it in all the way because it's hard to take out. And then you just do, 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 do. And all the kit, you could buy a kit. And they come all set together. And it's lovely and awesome. And then you can also buy. You guys ever notice I'm always turning over here. I have a whole wall of just all my pagan stuff. I love it. All right. You can buy this Dr. P.H. Martin's ink kit to get you started. And then when you get real fancy and you want to go bigger, then you can buy these big bulbs full of ink. And learning calligraphy is a ball full of fun. There's books on it everywhere. I've got about three of them, and they come with their own grid. And then you can buy a book of grids. I'm trying to say to find the right words here. I'm missing out on some stuff. Hold on. Per pound of wax, add a half pound of oil. Oh, that makes sense. Really does. Knowing what I didn't do. Yeah, that totally helps. Thanks, Honore. <laughs> I really, that helps because I've got some more wax and I have not gone back to making my candles because I was like, ew, what did I do wrong to my candles? They, like, they, some of them look really pretty, but they didn't come out. They don't burn very well. So, I did. so calligraphy. Lots of fun things you can get into with that. That's very time consuming. Very time consuming. But the gift that you get out of that. I mean you just take. I now have a box with uh, cards. Blank cards. And I write my own holiday cards. Uh, I write my own thank you cards, everything. I don't buy them anymore. I, you just buy a thing full of blank cards and whoo, off it go. Save you money. Five dollars at Hallmark. Are you kidding me? It's been five minutes. It makes everybody feel good. <laughs> um, it's still helpful. I love it. I love it. Thank you. And then, uh, okay, so a calligraphy. Candle making. Oh, now's the time to get into gardening. So if you don't garden, you could totally get into it. Um, darn um. Um, this is the perfect time to start your sprouts. So you could put your little seedlings in the cups and get them going with your dirt. And the lawn and garden centers are all opening up right now. And the seeds are cheap. And... And, and, and 
so then once the weather starts getting better with or without future people this is something that's going to help you out anyways if you do especially um edible like herbs vegetables that kind of that's what i'm talking about fruits uh you just start sprouting now planting now and then uh in about a month march yeah april may may late april may is about when you can start planting so if you don't have a big garden area that's okay you can just put it i put mine out on the fire escape i mean what are you gonna do i live in an apartment building i need to garden i also have on my windowsill in my kitchen i have a uh, parsley and i had basil and some of those but uh they don't survive in the winter they just don't it's difficult i mean you really you got to keep it warm and but now's the time to get into it for the spring summer season so it's the perfect time to learn gardening so there's gardening. All right, so painting. Oh, good, good, I'm glad. That's awesome. Good job, Carrie, yeah. I mean, I love it. I love gardening. I love it. Tomatoes, you get these, oh, once you have a fresh, fresh from the garden tomato, there is no turning back. There is just done. You're stuck. You're stuck for life. You're like, I need to add that fresh, mmm, garden tomato. I can eat it like an apple. Mmm, apples. I get on tangents, that's great. I miss my time to start lavender. I always miss my time to start. Well, I don't know when to start lavender, but that's great. So fresh lavender would be extraordinary. And hands in the dirt is good for the soul. Absolutely. Hands and feet in the dirt. I like going out barefoot. I got to have my, I got to, I'm the toes in the mud kind of person. You know what I'm saying? Like just nature. I, I go out to the land and I'm nature. Got to have it. Uh, let's see. Ooh, crocheting. It's still chilly out. It's a good time to crochet. Learn how to crochet. In the back is a blanket. That's called, you can't even see it up close. I could put it up, but I put it up to block my wall. <laughs> so if my, my man wants to walk by, he doesn't have to be seen. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Not weird, but whatever. But, uh, so I put my blanket up. My mom made me that blanket and she, oh yeah, cucumbers. I like pickling cucumbers and then I make my pickles. Mmm, so yummy. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so you could crochet, you could uh, cross stitch, you could, that's finger looping. You don't even need the needles or nothing. She just, she says you just use your fingers. I don't know, but if my mother can do that, that beautiful blanket, I'd say anybody can do it. So, cause she's, I love my mother, but I just, if she could do it, anybody could do it. So, Finger looping might be something to look into if you feel like you don't want to mess with needles or a needle or anything. Ooh, wood burning. Great idea, Richard. Yeah, you can make your own runes with that. Just go out and get a piece of stick. Cut your circles. Give them a little sand. Wood burn in the runes. Or do whatever you want with the, with the wood burning, but that was just a idea because <laughs> I've been wanting to do it. Wood burning kit, you can get them online, he says. Excellent, excellent idea. Thanks for keeping me on par. <laughs> um, ooh, something else. Okay, so I've just got a world of crafts sitting in front of me. So I'm just, and a, and a card that I made. So I'm trying to keep on target. I found this at, is it Pagan Pride? Maybe, I think. But this is something like you can make something similar to this. But I bought it at Pagan Pride. It's the Wheel of the Year. So you can make this out of, you can make it out of wood, you can make it out of clay, you can make it out of whatever. This was made out of wood and it was painted and it's got like these nice dividers on it and a little stone. Well, it's a gem. It's not a stone, but I mean, it's a simple one. But you can make something equivalent to that if you want to make something witchy. Uh, something else. Here is a corn doll that I bought. But that's as easy as keeping the corn stalk in the fall time and then making a little doll. Or you can find those. Find that. So let's see. Oh, uh, like I said, I was talking earlier about finding future events. Uh, our big witches ball is coming up in October. And I, I, I think that we'll be good by October to social gather again. And when that time comes, you are going to need a costume or outfit 
to perform in the costume contest. You need your outfit, so maybe it's a good time to buy material. For that, <laughs> I stalled out when I was like, you could buy your, your outfit, you could sew, you could make your outfit. I am repeating myself. Move on. Move on, Crystal. Okay. Uh, another hobby. It's not necessarily witchy, but it's another hobby. I make cheese. It's really something you can do inside and you don't got to be around people. So it's really, you just need milk and some of the little other products, but everything can be bought online. Uh, okay. Another something is, this is a voodoo doll. It was made out of a stick and some string and some, um, straw, I believe it was, and then a piece of cloth. And then you just tie it all together with your intentions, and then you take some pins and do your magical workings with. Sewing is going to be my only sanity in the next few weeks, right? So exactly, you know what I'm trying to say there, sewing. <laughs> um, I also made this mask. This was for uh, Mayfair back years ago, and I wore it to Mayfair, but I mean, it's falling apart now, but... It was a simple mask, but you never know what kind of event that you'll do where you, you know, a mask could be good. But, uh, there's my green man. See, I told you it's falling apart. This goes in here. There's my green man mask. <laughs> yeah. So you can make a mask. You can make anything your heart desires. You could, like I said, think of events that are coming up. Oh, something else, like I said, painting. Hi, Rebecca! Speaking of painting, that was weird. She's our our painting extraordinaire, one of, in this group, who does marvelous work. But uh, uh, I've done some things where you just get bored and... Ow. Um, I take globes, glass globes, from well, my drinking adventures, and I repurpose them into uh, art. So, oh no, there's, there's a chip in my paint right there. Sad day. But anyways, so I repurpose these glass bottles into beautiful art. Well, I like to hope they're beautiful, but so there's, right now I'm in the process of doing a chakra one. So I'm waiting for pieces of this to dry, but there's the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Oh, take the plastic cap off, Crystal. So it's in the workings, but anyways, I paint, I repurpose. That is a wonderful opportunity for people to, to take into consideration is repurposing products. So let's see, did I get into, I got into everything pretty much on my table. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, let's see. So I paint. I got painting. You can make rose water. I did rose water. So in the stores, if you happen to be in the stores and they've got leftover flowers, you can make rose water. That's really simple. It's just boiling down your roses. That's really easy. And then you get this awesome jar of roses or rose water. And that's wonderful. I don't know how to do the oil, but I did talk about that recently. So if you know how to do the oil, rock out with that reorganizing or redoing your altar if you have an altar where you're not really magically inclined to it right now is the perfect time to get magically inclined to it so take it down take it down reset it back up as you're setting it back up you're going to reset your intentions you're going to re connect to everything that's on there and actually you might find that you want you know, the candles in a different direction or you're, you want different stones on there or this, that, and the other. And with doing that, um, you're reconnecting. And that's a beautiful thing. You want to reconnect with your, your, your altar. So resetting it back up, something to do. Uh, organize your herbs and your stones. Um, right now I'm in the process. I had a lot of uh, herbs that were in baggies and stuff that when you buy them from your vendor, they usually come in a baggie of some sort. 
So I went online, I think walmart.com, and they have these awesome little jars. And then it comes with a sticker. Where did I grab? Motherwort. So <laughs> anyways, then you put your herbs right in this awesome little jar. It's not that big if you like, compare it to like they're the size of my ear. <laughs> but it's not that big and you could fit a whole ton of herbs in there. Ah. Hmm. Anyways. Just had to smell my herbs. Smell lovely. So, uh, reorganize your herbs. Reorganize your stones. Maybe you don't have them on display. Good time to make a display. Put up a display. Or, uh, put them on your altar. Or, reorganize where you have them. Dust them off. Clean them off. I mean, if they're dusty. That kind of thing. Get them ready, get touching them again, get connected with them again. Go through all your magical stuff, reorganize, re-get in tune, figure out maybe something might call out to you that you should, or that you'll want to do. <clears throat> all right. Anybody have any ideas to share with the group that maybe you do? Repurposing items specifically when I paint is so fun. Exactly. I love it. I love doing that. It's so, to me, rewarding to, like, recycle something and make it beautiful again. I just, I love that. Um, but I love how you guys have shared with me what you do with your ideas and things. Um, remember, keep in mind, like, we're not going to be trapped forever. Thank God. This... This too shall pass. So while we're, we're trapped for a little while, a little while, a couple months, it could be a couple months, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, but soon when we're able to come out and play again with each other, there will be things to show for it. And then you, you'll be so happy to show us all. And likewise, vice versa. And we'll get together in circles again, and we'll we'll play and learn together again. And, you know, the Witch's Ball in October will probably be, I mean, it will be even more magical because we'll all be together. And it'll feel that much more special because getting together before was one thing but now you you get together with each other and it's going to be like oh this is great i get to be around people i never i didn't get to do that before it was almost like we took it for granted this is like a refresh uh, a start over they're even saying that our you know like we're reducing a little bit of our carbon footprint a bit so um it would be nice to be to recharge and re-energize back You know, when you get into, if you've ever been in a circle with people and you've done a, uh, a, 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 a ceremony, you know, you feel that energy, even just with our meetups, you feel that energy from each other with everybody being so positive and so enlightening. I love it. And when we get to have that moment again, it's really going to be rewarding, I think, um, so I can just keep thinking like the witch's ball and hopefully we get events much, much sooner than that. But, uh, I, at this point, I'm, and even I was a part of the, the, the witch's ball committee, but to me, it's going to be even more exciting to be able to have that, that, that energetic bond with everybody again. So, um, I look forward to that and I hope that going back to the topic at hand, I hope that you guys were able to take something from this video and not just my psychotic rambling, but between the candles, besom, a wand, some jewelry, smudges, uh, clay making, um, smudge fan, repurposing, painting corn dolls uh masks jewelry i said that calligraphy uh gardening cheese making crocheting finger looping uh i hope i hope you're able to get through 
and survive and with positivity and love and light. And we shall see each other again in person soon enough. And if you have any questions about how to do something, ask out there. We as a group, we're here for each other. So if you're like, you know, hey, does anybody have experience with this? I mean, just doing this video, I just found out about what I wasn't doing with my candles. So, you know, ask out there, hey, I'm starting to learn how to make candles. Does anyone have experience using beeswax? Oh, you know, adding the coconut oil helps. We're there for you. So, hey, um, has anybody ever done a smudge fan? I'm trying to use do this, this, or that. Oh yeah, you know, I've made a smudge fan before, so let me let me throw some advice out there for you. Don't be shy to ask or be afraid to ask. We're here for, for each other. So even though we can't be together, we're still together. <laughs> so um, I think that's all I've got for now. I hope everybody hung on <laughs> and appreciated the little bit that I had to give. Hopefully I was able to help. Um, I guess that's it. So long for now. Much love and light. Blessed be to you all. Take care.